Hey, what's going on, Boss Up? This is Laura Styles and this is Ebro. Ebro in the morning. She's not black, but we still made it to Boss Up. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Hey, Boss Up, thanks for having me. We I kicked Rosenberg it. out because he definitely ain't black. We made it. Stay black. <laughs> Listen, the All-Star Weekend tip-off, Thursday, February 12th, you can maybe, maybe, I don't know, I gotta check my watch, because as of Friday, there was only a few hundred tickets left. No, seriously. Ticketmaster.com, just saying they might be gone by the time this interview's over. But the reason you wanna come to the tip-off is because you are not gonna get into the other shit. Because the other shit, most of it is private. Very true. List only. This is something that we put together because we knew most of y'all wouldn't be able to get into the beats whatever private thing the sprite things the lebron gq party you're not going to that adidas i heard is having some oh they got free things outside if you want to go stand outside in the cold and watch people on the block you, you can, can do, do that. that yeah you could do that but if you buy to get ticket master you could just hang out with us and have an amazing time. indoors bar party snoops there diddy's there friends we'll be partaking you might as well just go to Ticketmaster.com right now. Like right now before all tickets Truth. Come Truth what she says. So you got Diddy and Snoop. Right. Right? Now, back in the 90s, that would have never happened. So that's monumental. Focus on that. Then now look at all their compadres. You think they're not going to bring out? Because it does say, and friends. I know. And they're both show off, so they're both going to try to outdo each other. I'd also like to point out that Beats Music promptly jumped on this affair. So you already know what that means. Who owns Beats Music? I mean... Not the Apple part, the other part. Because Steve Jobs, he ain't coming, rest in peace, <laughs> just saying. Ladies, do dress to the All-Star Weekend tip-off. Do dress like you're going out to have some fun and look amazing. You don't want don't. the girls wearing jerseys or, or sweatshirts or crewnecks or comfortable sneakers? No. <laughs> don't dress like that or don't dress like you ain't never been nowhere in your entire life. <laughs> I hate when I see women dress like they go into the prom because you missed the prom when oh you was young God. and now you want to dress like you go into the prom and wear one of them big flowy ass dresses. Throw on some tight jeans, a tight top, show what you got, some nice heels, a bag, and let's party. Fellas, or don't... Or funny hats, no funny hats. Like what, fedoras? You tell me I can't yeah, wear my no, fedora? No. See, I like your fedora. Some guys can pull off really good ones, but what about the overgrown, like the ones where the rims are like, they stick out like 12 inches. I don't know. Some of oh, them like the you really talking strange. about like the Gandalf the Grey hats from the um, oh, Harry Potter yeah, joints. Yeah, sometimes it's just too much. Yo, dudes, do not dress like you're in the Harry Potter movie with the hooded little cloaks and shit yeah. the niggas is wearing now <laughs> with the shoes with the tassels on and the fucking baggy hammer pants and shit. Y'all looking nuts out here. The drop crotch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and dudes, girls know when your belt is more expensive than your entire outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so don't put on an expensive ass belt with cheap ass clothes, cause girls know. All Star Tip Off 2012. Oh God. Back to the Puff Daddy, taking over New York City. <laughs> Diddy and friends.